G'day there, I'm Jesse Crow, the Travelling Scientist, and after spending years studying pharmacology, I'm here to help you live smarter, happier, and healthier lives. Recently, I created a video about getting a blood test to check your vitamin, mineral, and hormone levels. And in this video, I'm going to help you understand the results of your test. I've also made a cheat sheet that simplifies all your essential vitamins and minerals and how to balance them to maximize your health. That's totally free, you can download it from any time in the description just down below. Today I'm going to be explaining your liver function test, or LFT. Your liver filters and detoxifies your blood, which, let's be honest, that can be a big job. Especially with what you're eating and drinking. What? So we want to make sure the liver is healthy, and there are a bunch of enzymes that we can check to indicate liver function. Like ALT, AST, ALP, and GGT. These are all enzymes that are involved in breaking down proteins in the liver. ALT, or alanine aminotransferase, should be between 5 and 45 units per liter of blood. AST, or aspartate aminotransferase, should be between 7 and 55 units per liter of blood. ALP, or alkaline phosphatase, should be between 4 and 120 units per liter of blood. And GGT, or gamma glutamyl transferase, should be between 0 and 30 units per liter of blood. If any of these enzymes are higher than the standard levels in your blood, it can indicate that something is wrong with your liver and it's releasing these enzymes into the bloodstream, which isn't great. And if you're worried about that, you can discuss this with your doctor. Bilirubin is a protein that's produced during the breakdown of blood cells in your liver. It's measured as total bilirubin, or T-bil, and it should be around 12 milligrams per liter of blood. High levels of bilirubin in the blood indicate that it's being released from a slightly damaged liver, and that's not ideal. Finally, the liver produces several important proteins that we can measure to check liver function. These are measured as albumin and total protein. And unlike the rest of the biomarkers we look at for liver function, you want your protein levels to be high. We need these proteins. So if albumin or the total protein is below the normal range, it means that the liver isn't producing enough protein and it might not be working properly. A standard albumin level is between 35 and 50 grams per liter of blood, and a standard total protein level is between 60 and 85 grams per liter of blood. Anyway, there you go guys, I hope this information helps you to understand your blood test results a little bit better, and just remember that if your results are slightly out of the average range, don't stress. Variation is very normal among different people, and if you are concerned about any of your results, you can contact your doctor and ask them for advice. And thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions for me, let me know in the comment section down below, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.